Welcome back. Okay, we're in module 4.4 and we're still talking about division of monomial expressions. What I want to stress in this video is how do you know when you can actually perform the operation of division? A lot of people think because you just see a fraction bar, you're supposed to just jump right in and do division. And you have to be very careful. The rule is you can only perform division when all your terms are connected by multiplication. Remember, according to please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, you do what's inside a grouping symbol first. That's what the P stands for. You do your exponent second. But when it comes to M and D, multiply and divide, we've discussed this. Mom is not more important than dad. You don't always have to multiply first and then divide, okay? What I want you to understand is mom and dad go together. So the rule of thumb is before you ever start doing division, you have to make sure M multiplication is there. So let's go back again to arithmetic. From elementary school, if I wrote you this expression, four times five divided by two. I see multiplication, four times five, and I see division divided by two. So that makes you see the connection between the two operations. I can do four times five, and what would I get? 20. And I could do 20 divided by two and get my value of 10. I could also look at that expression and in my head do the division part first. I could take the four in the numerator and divide it by the two in the denominator. And what's four divided by two, y'all? It's two. And then two times five would still give me the same answer, the same quotient, 10. So that shows you as long as you're connected by multiplication, you can do division. Now if I wrote the expression 4 plus 5 divided by 2, you couldn't start out by doing division. Most people would look at that expression and say, okay, I'm supposed to add the 4 and the 5 and get the 9, and then 9 divided by 2, well, $9 divided among two people is 450, 4 and 5 tenths. If you started out that expression by doing division, you would not get the same result. So think about that. If you had the expression 4 plus 5 divided by 2, and you said, well, let's divide first. Let's take 4 and divide it by 2. Okay, 4 divided by 2 is 2, but 2 plus 5 would be what? It would be 7. And you know the answer is not 7. The answer is 4 and 5 tenths. So that shows you from arithmetic. You are not allowed to do division unless you're connected by multiplication. And that rule is going to follow us all throughout this algebra. Anytime you see that fraction bar, yes, it means division. Before you even jump in and start doing division, you have to make sure all your terms are connected by what operation? That's right, multiplication. Therefore, we can divide monomials by monomials. That's a given. Because we learned already from way back when, mono means one term connected by multiplication. So that's why in algebra, you could take a monomial, divide it by a monomial, and get your answer, which is a monomial. And then you don't have to think about doing the division. Because you know by the word monomial, it's already connected by multiplication. Now, believe it or not, we have been dividing monomials for three lessons now. I've just not called them monomials. Okay, so now we're going to go to the video and we're going to practice everything we've learned about division. We learn when we divide, if we have the same base, we subtract exponents. We learn when we divide, we put our quotient or answer where the bigger term was. So if it's in the numerator, the quotient goes in the numerator. If it was in the denominator, the bigger quotient goes in the denominator. We've learned that if we have an exponent of zero, we replace that with the term one. And now we've learned before we even start the division process, we better make sure everything is connected by multiplication. All right, let's try some examples in the next video.